so first thing that I wanted to bring up, I saw it um, earlier this afternoon, Patch My PC is hosting a webinar uh, next Wednesday on um, log troubleshooting uh, on, in Intune. Um, a lot of different logs that we need to look at in Intune, just like we've had to in the past with Config Manager and Windows Updates and Windows itself. Um, so this should be like all of their webinars uh, should be a, a pretty great event, I think. A um, couple of things that it looks like they're going to focus on here. Um, patch my PC and how it will communicate with your tenant. Um, so we've looked at this a little bit before. You'll actually see on the Intune side a lot of um, audit logs that show patch my PC adding applications, modifying applications, uh, removing applications as updates come through. Um, and then a little bit about um, uh, client logs uh, on the Intune Management Extension service here. Uh, we also talked a little bit about that last week, uh, I believe, that that's changed uh, recently with the latest uh, service release of Intune, where uh, Win32 apps are actually split off into their own uh, log now, which is a fantastic improvement, um, but it looks like uh, they're going to talk through this a little bit next week. So I encourage you, if you get the time here, go ahead and join this webinar live. Um, typically, uh, I want to say 24 to 48 hours after the webinar, they're also post, they will also post them um, as well, the recordings, um, but fantastic opportunity here, here to join uh, the folks at Patch My PC and talk about logging a little bit. Uh, the next thing that I come ac came across um, that got shared quite a bit um, is, first, it's a blog post from uh, Michael Niehaus that cumulative updates are um, coming uh, during out-of-box experience, and at the moment, we will be getting them no matter what. Um, so coming up here soon uh, for Windows 11 22H2 and, uh, and above, uh, essentially what happens here is <clears throat> uh, when an en MDM enrolled device uh, on one of those versions of Windows 11 uh, goes ahead and enrolls, uh, at the end of the out-of-box experience, um, updates are going to get installed. And there are a couple of things here in the summary that Michael has listed out here um, that devices are going to reboot after that uh, update install. And... Um, users will have to sign in again because the credentials are not saved as part of that reboot. So a couple of things to note there. Um, so I appreciate Michael's right up on this, um, very succinct. Uh, right now, there are no enterprise controls to block that if you want. Um, I think there's a, a seems to be a consensus that everyone's happy that in everyone's generally happy that uh, we are actually getting updates automatically at the beginning of the device life cycle, um, but uh, not having control, you know, something to note for sure. Uh, I did also want to share, um, and Michael links it here in his blog post as well, Microsoft's official announcement on this, um, that these changes are coming down the pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to our links for this evening. Um, Michael also posted uh, something else around another recent change that we heard about. Um, so <clears throat> with Windows 11 24H2, uh, the Defender for Endpoint agent is not um, uh, going to be installed as it normally would uh, for prior versions of Windows 11. What that means is the Windows Defender for Endpoint agent was typically installed by default on all flavors of Windows 11. Um, and so it was very easy to onboard devices into MDE if you're using that for your organization. Uh, but that's now changing. So if you have a device that has Windows 11 Home and is upgraded to Pro uh, or, or then later Enterprise, uh, that sense client will not be installed um, and you're going to have to deal with that in some way. One of the ways that Michael is dealing with that here is his autopilot branding package that he's had out there for some time. Uh, if you apply that, it's going to go ahead and install the sense client. Um, there's some uh, a couple of scenarios here where Michael calls out that uh, we may have to worry about this a little bit more than we thought. Uh, for example, if an OEM actually applies a Windows 11 home image and then upgrades it as part of their 
uh, process before shipping it out to you as the, um, as the admin or an organization or the end user, uh, that would be the same scenario where the device started out with Windows Home and will not have uh, uh, that Sense client installed by default. So definitely something to keep in mind there if you're using MDE in your organization. And lastly, I just came across this afternoon a uh, another post from Microsoft where there are some new alerts that are being added for Windows updates in Intune. Um, so basically some new alerts for uh, when update progress is not being populated or not being reported uh, from a client up to Intune reports. Um, so there are a couple of alerts that they spell out here. Uh, device diagnostics data not received and minimum OS build not met. Uh, and throughout this blog post as well, they give a good description of where these alerts will show up and how they'll integrate into the reporting that we have in Intune, as well as the monitor functions here. Um, it, since we're talking about Windows updates, you're going to see that in the Windows update node here. Um, and a couple of other reports like Windows Update for Business reports will actually show uh, missing devices, including, um, as we can see here, those new alerts that we just uh, talked about at the top of this blog post. So uh, as always, we're happy to see these improvements in reporting. Um, and so I will share this blog post as well uh, so that you can review and be prepared for utilizing these updates. Um, so, all right, uh, that's about what I had for news today. 